It was kind of like this. Have you ever driven a car and your gas gauge is on empty and you are driving on fumes in a prayer and you're trying to get to a gas station before you run out of gas? Say yes. 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 You're driving on fumes in a prayer and you're driving down the road and you hit the traffic light. What color is it? Red. Always red. <laughs> you wait patiently, sweating with drops of sweat. And gingerly, when the light turns green, you press on the gas gauge because uh, gas pedal because you don't want to waste gas, and you cruise on down the road. Two more blocks, and the next light is red. How long are these red lights? They're at least three minutes or forever, whichever is longer. That's what it feels like. If finally turns green, you head on down the road. The next traffic light is red. No, it's yellow. <laughs> and you're ready to cruise through, and then you notice the traffic control camera. They have those here? Yes. So you have to stop again. You wonder if you're going to make it. That's what it was like in the pilot seat of Cessna 65 Victor when they were vectoring me around. So I did the third thing, communicate. People sometimes ask me, you ran out of fuel, what happened? Did you crash? My usual response is, yep. There were no survivors. <laughs> Which might have been the case. When things start to go down for you, the first thing you've got to do is not figure out where you are and where you want to go and make the plans to get there. It's not to start talking to somebody about it. The very first thing when things start to go bad for you or you're planning an event is to get the basics. But you got past the truck. Driving doesn't get much more basic than that, does it? Stay between the white lines. Now, when you're in kindergarten, aren't you told to stay in the lines? But later on, creative people such as yourself, what are you told to do? Outside the lines, think creative, be outside the box, right? Which is great when everything's going good. But when things start to go not so good, it's not a good time to start playing around with the lines. At that time, you need to stay between the lines. Stick to the basics. And for you, whether it's an adventure, a relationship, a business, an event, whatever it is, the first thing you start with, what's the most important thing here? What are the basics? Because if things start to go south, at some point we, we have to know what the basics are and get back to them. Aviate. Then, navigate. Navigate is in three parts. I call it the ABCs of navigation. A, where you are. B, where you want to B. <laughs> then it would be the AGC. This is the ABC. Where you are, where you want to be, and the course you're going to take to get from here to there. This is the dynamic part of this whole equation of aviate, navigate, communicate. This is where the motion happens. And it's very critical that you get this right. Aviate. Navigate. Navigate. Before the night's over, you're going to know these three words. It's awesome. <laughs> it works. I challenge you. When things seem to be going down for you, you're running out of gas, you need help, remember these three words, and in this order, aviate, navigate, communicate. And you will have a smooth landing, you will fly again tomorrow, and you will soar to new heights. Thanks.